Luminary? Yeah. It's eight, the Luminary Solo and Erdrick. Yeah. No. Wait, how's it all four of them? They probably uh different outfits, is my guess. It's not. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that look it's Erdrick and Smash! Was that they're a little slime attack? They're gonna pull April Fools to call me. Just kidding, it's Banjo Kazooie. That's eight. Dude, this is crazy. They put all four of them in the game. I really watch them on Twitch or something? Oh, Nintendo's YouTube. Wait, that, that's Twitch every single thing. hero in the Dragon Quest series. Right now I'm on Dragon Quest again, it looks like. Oh, there you go, Sack. Holy shit, it was real Dragon Quest is inside for Smash Bros. Summer 2019. <laughs> I can't believe you missed part of this. Like, where the fuck is that? Dude, I was going, I was picking up my stupid brother from his, from his thing. Holy shit. So the Luminary's in, Erdrick's in, Solo's in, Ace's in. You know, my guess is the Luminary is like the default one. They showed him first. Or they could all be separate, like Echo, but I'm guessing they're in different outfits. So that's the uh, trail for Yep, yeah. I think it looks a little bit different than the one they showed yesterday at Square. They didn't show up. Well, I guess maybe they showed the stage and I didn't see it. Did they show anything else from Smash? How much of did I miss? Uh, he missed probably a minute. They showed a slime. I don't know if that's Hello, his trophy or just part of his character. All right, three, two, one, play. Oh, Matt's already ahead. <laughs> All right, let's see this. Oh, I saw some Pyra. All right, here we go. That was the best E3 conference as a whole that I've seen in a long time. Yeah. All right, let's see this. Not actual gameplay. You got Marth and Linker fighting at the beginning. This, this kind of made me think it was Erdrick right here because of the sword fighter. Right, and Meta Knight. So they got all the sword fighters at the beginning, right? And here, there's... Let's see who it is. Luminary! Ah, oh. Yeah, it's the Luminary. With a sword of light. On the overture. He was, so Zach was going to the bathroom during this. Yeah. <laughs> the, I can't believe I missed this. The, the hero. Oh yeah, they do call him the hero. They're calling him okay. the hero, not the Luminary. Full version. So it, it takes place on the, cel the Celestia um, in front of the Yggdrasil. That's his stage, right? He has, what, Sizzle? Frizz. You can see the show of slime too. He attacks with his sword and he can block with his uh, murder shield. Oh, he has like a lightning kazap. And there's oh, a there's slime. Oh, there's his stage. Oh, that's cool. And it'll, remember, it'll have all the music, for, a lot of music from the game too, Zach. Yeah, a ton of music. And here's the second part of the trailer where the Luminary got hit. All right, let's see what happens next. Everyone's against him. That's basically Twitter. So that's that's all the Sora fanboys. Yeah, <laughs> it's everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's eight and Solo. The green the green guy's Solo. The yellow guy's eight. I feel like Erdrick. they put Erdrick in the bag, but gave him more showcase because you know of all the leaks and stuff. Yeah. And Erdrick has a Sword of Light also. 
That's that's the music right now is the Dragon Quest Three music. Yeah, I remember you were saying there's some connections between the uh, like the early games and the recent games on that podcast you were on. Yeah. Oh, he can he can he like selects like his uh, their spells from a yeah. menu, like like in the game, crackle slash clang them. I wonder if cool. I wonder if there's gonna be any puff puff. <laughs> I thought there would be spells like this kind of. <laughs> using like a lot of magic and they're just outfits though. That's all it really is. Yeah, but still, like oh. you get. Oh, all, shit. In, all the heroes. That, that was every cool hero. Final smash. That's pretty damn cool. Dragon Quest XI. Echoes of an Elusive Age. That is damn cool. See, they made the character look really awesome. I'm sure it's going to be really popular when uh, people start playing as him. Yeah, it looks pretty unique because like, people always complain about sword fighters. But, yeah. like, he had a lot of unique stuff. Like, when they brought up that menu, like, that RPG turn based menu, that was pretty cool. Um, Fire spells. Just, was, just the fact that he's got, like, cause the skins in Smash Bros. are kind of shit. They're mostly just color outside of, like, Bowser Jr. So having the four different heroes is, I think, a big draw to separate him from other sword fighters. It's pretty damn cool. Plus, they have, like, first of all, my favorite Dragon Quest hero is A to the, you know, the eighth one, right? Because I just like how he looks. Yeah, that's the one I started with. Yeah, that was my first Dragon Quest also, so I'm really glad they put him in there. I would play as him a lot, and uh, Erdrick, of course, is a necessity. I made a post on Twitter saying that they should put all the, the Dragon Quest heroes in as alternate costumes, and they actually ended up doing it, and I was, I was like, half serious. Alright, that's pretty, that's pretty satisfying, I gotta say, as a Dragon Quest fan, to finally have Erdrick and the rest of the heroes aid. Yeah, that was, that was fucking amazing. That was awesome. That was pretty damn cool. And, it, of course, they, uh... They really delivered. You didn't even watch the conference sec. You were like, Nintendo. Uh, I'll, I'll send <laughs> Nintendo Direct for E3 Yeah, I was too busy freaking uh, checking my notifications on Twitter because uh, everyone's hitting me up about Erdrick and all the characters. I got like 100 notifications. I'd like to introduce first. It's been a long road. What are you doing here? 